Hey guys, Minzy Bell here. We are back in Wolf Among Us. And I think this might be the last video on here. If not, it's the next to last. Because I think it's getting towards the end, so... Let's see. We are talking to him. And I still think he was jerking it off watching the fight. Hello, Bigby. And then Bigby being naked. <laughs> Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. That's this a pretty good reason. Six I won't miss next time. Still a pretty good reason. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. Shh. That's the plan. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Mm -hmm. Can we at least agree on that? I will tell have me a trial. Now. You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate with me. Asshole. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. I don't like how this he started backing up like that. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. Yeah, you get other people to do it. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain uh, my side you? of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. You did. You get other There's people to do that. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. Oh, God. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. Why is he backing up like that? I wasn't even stepping towards him yet. Reckless. What are you doing? And I worry you're not. Are you looking for someone? Th Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned. Do you Justice, really want the truth, Fabletown. or do you just want to look like the hero? This Fabletown. is about protecting Fable Town. When some asshole murders two of our people, it's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? Maybe. My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold as on. As much as I would love to just mind. kill him, I can't. What I need say? to bring him in. Hey! And again, this is the good playthrough, not the evil playthrough. I'm sure evil Ms. playthrough, White I'm killing his ass. I'm not even taking him back. reliable pub. Oh my god. I understand Shut the fuck up. Keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. Now we're going back to the office. Is that where we're going to? The office part? Or are we going somewhere new for his trial? Do they have a courtroom? I know. Oh, we're I going know. to the witching well. Never mind. We have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. Hi, we're back. I brought he's you back. all a present. A crooked man. Thank God. Sorry, I couldn't put a bow on it. Hey, don't spit on the present. Are you okay? It's been hours. Eh, he we didn't were make it easy. Run into some trouble. At the crooked man's place. No, well, he didn't make it easy. Beast looked high back there. It doesn't <laughs> matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. He's still you did like, well, Sheriff. I'm <laughs> surprised. Not that you did well, but no, you're that, surprised I did you know. well. Go ahead, say I'm it. Just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. 
Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Shut up. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Lily. She was my sister. <laughs> and now they're all coming up to them. Where the fuck do you get off? <laughs> you think you have the right to and just do this to people? Oh, You're a Lord. Shut truck. up, people. This. You should fucking be ashamed. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Oh, there's your hon. Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of as Faith and... As I already and... informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie, you did the Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? In a way. Well, where is it? Oh, yeah, look, you're gonna bring that shit in so too, aren't you? So this two here, they're the only two. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Oh, fuck is off. he still out there? I sincerely he wasn't behind it. Georgie was a victim of this psycho, too. There you go. He was pushed into the whole thing, and now he's dead. He's what? Dead. That was so an accident. See, the culprit has been punished. There's no That need doesn't for change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. I and was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. Uh, the let charges. her finish. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? I'll let you talk. If Just... you insist. She needs to finish first. <clears throat> They're supposed to talk you first and then you can talk. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. Yep. A misunderstanding. Aiding Fuck and off. providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. Oh my god, yes you did! Like you gave me fucking order! Bullshit! Like hell you didn't. Stop the charade. We just know let him speak. In. Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. Oh what the fuck does shut he need up. to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes Can we just against duct tape the government and most shut. importantly, it's safe. Can we please just put it right These over the mouse? If Make them be quiet. are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching. Where it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get on but with it. We promised then. you a chance to defend yourself. And I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. Why are you taking the cuffs this off of him? Why? What? 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 No! <laughs> don't do that. That's probably a huge mistake. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. He's gonna talk his You've fucking way out of this, Georgie. isn't he? I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel. Oh my god, he is. He's gonna talk his way out of this shit. Man. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, are you gonna get don't to your point or sad story, dude. Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. This is such bullshit! For once. You've always been a bit of a powder keg. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Yes, you would. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? I don't. Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. <laughs> when you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I was attacked. I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand They're scared of you. Protect what you care about, Bloody Mary you? is probably the only one that's actually anything. loyal to him. Because she gets to do where the fuck man. she wanted. Just to save someone. Yeah, right. They oh, don't shit. Do no, they're considering they want to protect you. You intimidate no. people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. 
My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. Ooh. She wasn't given a choice. Tear Do him you up, really Holly. think Do she it. wanted I'll let that you. any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street so corners, like, oh shit. I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? That was Crane. Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Remember, I was nice Her to you. Story is not the burden tree and I gave you a job. everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? For the longest time, not much. But they asked but me to But he's not expecting that them. part. Really? The new deputy mayor wants you on the 13th floor? No. The wolf offered me the job. She wanted my tree destroyed. If she had had her way, I'd be hung out to dry on a clothesline by now. Whoops. What? <laughs> Shit happens. You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you Snow, is it the blade? That? Don't blame Snow. Huh? She had her reasons. Greenleaf was using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. That's why Snow wanted your tree burned. That's not why. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to I get. I kind of agree with what she's saying with right the there. Man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear. This is going to be a back and right forth away. thing. But I want you all to they know side that with I us, care side with him, about side with all us, of side with him until eventually it's the end of it. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. We didn't get you into this. We mess. didn't get you into this situation. He did. The crooked man's been exploiting you, exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take he that never weakness cared. and add it to his strength. Do you really think the crooked man cared about you? He just cared about your money. He Ooh. cares about your obedience. He looks worried. Well, here comes Beast. Yep, this is gonna be You're a right. back and forth shit, isn't You're it? You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town right. is over. Oh, and those girls will have their justice. I like how Johan just magically appeared over there anyways. Although I think he was always over there. <laughs> Oh my Very god, now good. what are you gonna Very say? Good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie murder. was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that, that nobody heard. Now- Oh, I'm I heard it too! Barrister, Not just Bigby. I think such a statement would carry more weight <laughs> if Bigby weren't the only Does one that to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's- History. How about your what history? Are you talking about? Oh, there we go. And what about your he's history? Gotta... All you've done to this yeah. fucking town. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... Shut the fuck I mean, up, beauty. This doesn't feel right how we're doing this. Shut up, beauty. Of course it's right. This man tormented all of you for profit. Georgie Let killed him. make sure I understand you. <laughs> You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did because he was working for me at the time. Yes? Yes. Y yes. Of course. Yes. You're responsible. If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Big I didn't kill nobody. Well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your What the your fuck? Custody? I was nice to him. 
He Give him booze. Mashed apples while under your watch. Under my scar. I didn't take his money. That was Bluebeard. I'm selling him out. Just let that go. That was Bluebeard, not me. Don't look at me like that. He was a murder suspect. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. <laughs> Through his ass, right before that you bus. decided to kill him. He doesn't him. seem to care. It was for his own protection. <laughs> oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. Oh, shut the fuck up. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for this mine. This is completely different. We I all... did not order those two girls yes, dead. You did. It simply yes, never you fucking happened. did. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled Why look at Bluebeard? Bluebeard doesn't like you anyways. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. That's not true. I mean, true. a certain level of privilege should be afforded to three. To who? This is how it's always been. Yes. See, this oh, is exactly fuck. to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you. Treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without oh my me, god. Who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Really? Who Pulling will that be shit the out Biggie? there? Miss White! Nervousa! Oh my god! Excuse this spell's broken. Can you talk now? Can you say I say words to, make sure to me? I had the chance to say something. Say words. Why don't you take a moment to catch I'm sorry, I was very What's excited to see her. I'd like to I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. She has something Blue to beard. say. Shut she up, has something to say, and we're gonna listen. Go right ahead. You should you be able to talk, no problem. Me. Because the spell's broken. Afraid to come here. My dear, I don't Just shut you... up. You enslaved us for oh, years. Oh, he, he's worried. Let us hear stories <laughs> about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't he's say a so word about it because of, of these why damn able ribbons. To talk. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Oh, he knows Did he's you kill uh -uh. Her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I Nerissa! Know your... My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. <laughs> it's going to Shut be... Shut up, He dude. ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie. I was in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. Confirms it. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was Ooh, always him. Oh, the crowd. Georgie Hell yeah. Back over to my side. Say so, ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. <laughs> she saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Okay. Good enough for me. <laughs> me too. Did he really say that in so the room with her? It, right? down the witching or... well. No, that's too she make it that easy for part a up. like that. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't He's care either way. It's amazing. Did. Listen to yourselves. <laughs> You're all rats fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. I, so I agree with that part. <laughs> <onto> <laughs> <whatever> <laughs> will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What? You take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? What did you expect, what did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you. enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't Hasn't stopped. I don't care. So so we get rid of no. him. No. Shit. Am I going to have to decide what he has to do? Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope we should you vote. aren't suggesting yourself. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? 
He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about Oh my him? god, yes, I he's am. I'm gonna have to decide. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you oh sure? God. This isn't how it's, it's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Snow. Just do what you think is right. What are my choices? Witching well and locking up, and that it? Yes, Sheriff. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I can rip his head off, just say fuck it, throw him down the witching well, which apparently is the death sentence anyways. Or lock him up. Um. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say this, because as you guys know, and I've been saying it time and time again, this is my good playthrough. So I haven't murdered anybody at all. So, of course, obviously, I'm not going to rip his head off, no matter what. I'm not going to rip his head off. That would obviously be for the evil playthrough. Because, again, this is my good playthrough. I'm just going to, right now, I'm going to lock his ass up. When I play again, I might rip his head off next time. But, yeah, I just I wanted to think about that since they had the little timer there. So, he's, he's going to get locked up. I'm sorry if y'all disagree with me. But, you know, this, let's just get, go ahead and just lock his ass up. Do what get you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. Everyone, I'm not this way. What the, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, are we gonna go down the witching well? Oh shit. Punch him? There you are. I hope you all... Remember this moment. You like try to me, strangle me. You try to sleep. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Just because of that, I want to throw him down the witching well, but still, okay. I'm still gonna lock his ass up. Finish it, Sheriff. How does handcuffs get off? You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you That's can't what be serious. Shut done. up! You're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. You realize, again, your fables, right. you live for Good. hundreds of thousands of years. You live for freaking almost ever. He's gonna su- The North Wind blood. Oh, that's his father. Yeah, apparently, I was looking at it, and his- Big B's mother's name is Winter, and his father was the North Wind. And apparently that's why Bloody Mary says, your mother just fuck whatever breeze comes through. Or however she worded it with the breeze and shit like that. Because I was very confused. I'm like, why the fuck did she say it like that? That's why. Oh, hi. Is that him? Not what I was expecting. Oh, that's fucking awesome. Morning, crooked man. He's got a sharp tongue. He said, fuck you. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Green. Hey, Flycatcher! Work is work, I guess. Hey, Sheriff. Hey, buddy. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down who's... in a minute. Okay. Great. Who? Who's being sent to the farm? Because I didn't send Cole into the farm. This fucking hey, that's line. a taxi cab driver right there with the red hair. <laughs> oh, hey, Tim. Hey, Grin. Hey, Johan. What's up, guys? I just, I just don't know that oh, one person. Uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. Okay. Everything okay? Is everything okay? You look. I'm, I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Good morning, Miss White. Oh, shit. That's not good. You're late. But who's being sent to the farm? I didn't say Colin was going to the farm, and I gave Toad money. So he should have gotten glamoured. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Oh, my God. Did I say Colin? I meant Colin. Whatever the fuck. The pig! My piggy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. But still, who's getting sent to the farm? Is Toad still getting sent to the farm? They better not. 
They're not supposed to be. I gave them motherfucking money. Oh my gosh. So who is it? Oh my god! Why are they going to the farm? I'm going. This Jesus. really pisses me off. We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Things. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. I'm glad you got your job, Nothing though. Sheriff. Oh, nice uh, fucking day. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. Just go grab that, would you? Sorry. Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. She been glamoured. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to. She hear showed it. up glamoured. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> I feel you so know, bad for him. All night, poor kid. I feel so fucking bad for TJ. This is why I didn't want to send him to the farm. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Yeah, what is it? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye. So, if you could bring it to her. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'll do I it. couldn't take them him. all with me. And she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. Oh, it's the That's bugs they were talking one. about. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. Don't worry. You'll be a lot safer. Plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Hell yeah. Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, I Come feel on. so fucking bad. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? Shut up, Toad. We're all set. I'm trying to help you. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Oh my gosh, bye, TJ. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I tried hey, to help. Baby. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? Must be missing. I don't know. Yeah, uh, must have run off. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Saying goodbye. Well, last time in the beginning, he even said. Colin, you don't need to be running off from the farm again. So he goes to the farm and just comes right back. But hi, Narissa. Hi. Hi. Oh wow, you're wearing something under your dress. Something. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. She's so it's used to it. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to. Uh, it's just... I understand. It's okay. I get it. I don't want to remove her ribbon. I know her head won't pop off, but still. Because the spell's broken. I, I don't want to remove it, though. I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily, and I, we had this plan. We were going to find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. Ooh. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. What'd she You've do? You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can it's you okay. imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? It's okay. Just calm down. I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd oh. get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. 
I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. I just want her to come to the now. George promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then, oh god. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. She she noticed that. She noticed my hand was coming towards her. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there as he was telling me this, Faith walked in and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked oh, man? Oh, I was right. The well, you I said. know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? I don't give a fuck. What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. It was for the best. I guess... I guess it worked out in the end. I can't hold that. Even if shit here, Crooked Man said. I mean, I you can tell Crooked Man get ordered away with it. it because of a stupid technicality, especially after that night after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment, so I did the only thing I could do. I, I left Faith's head at your doorstep. Oh, you. You put it there so we find her. I walked her over here. That piece of I fabric was from so your jeans? That piece of fabric I found near there. That was you? Yeah. I cut my leg trying to get over the fence. So you. I you wanted that fucking fabric to be brought in there sometime soon. We never used you in it. The right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer. We do it in silence, and the world likes it that way. We just fade, like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. That's not gonna happen. It's going to be different now. I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. I don't know where we stand. I don't stand. really know where we stand anymore. Things are just different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally, because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. Next time, so that where I'm not asking mercy. You did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. That's what Faith said to me in the beginning. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Did Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Go after her! Oh, okay. Wolf. Oh, it just ended. Okay. Um. Okay, real quick before you do this, let's see. What'd you do to Georgie? We killed him, gave him mercy. Just gave him a trial. Yes. Just punish him. I imprisoned him. Ooh, some other people leased it.
Did you accept it? Hell yeah! Who are the fucking people that did not accept that gift? They need to die. What were your last words, Teresa? I hope I've done some. Wow! <laughs> I don't know what they said. But. Um. Oh. Beast, you lied to him about seeing Beauty outside the apartment. Beauty, you promised her. You wouldn't tell Beast that you saw her outside the apartment. You impressed her with your detective skills. You fought him after the. the but, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I'm okay. You fought him after the, after the interrogation. Butcher, you offered him protection at the business office. You gave him a drink when he asked for one in your apartment. You helped him avoid the farm. You. Ow. Sorry, I thought I was about to sneeze. You took him back to the witching rail. You imprisoned him. Aw, oh, you gave her money after the fight with the woodsmen. You took money from towards you say, Hell fucking yeah. No one was looking. I took that money. The only money I did not take was D's money. Yeah. No. No, I didn't take Crane's money. Did I? I don't remember. I offered her a job. He drank with Grin after Lily's funeral. You made a deal with him. Oh, yeah, because he was in, um, whatchamacallit, was in the thing, in Crane's apartment. You brought her along with you to the trip trap. You promised to bring the crooked man back alive. You chose to wait for him. You accepted his beetle and promised to give it to Snow. You stood up for him when Snow wanted to send him farm. You gave him money. I wonder... Because of the way they ended this, and I've read some of the comics and everything about the what this is actually based off of, I wonder if they're gonna uh, make a like a season two kind of like they did with like The Walking Dead, where they made The Walking Dead season two. I wonder if they'll do um, The Wolf Among Us season two, and like this stuff carries over. Like you know, this you promised to give it to Snow. Well, we didn't get to give it to Snow. So, I wonder if something like that will carry over. Um, oh god, that's loud. But, why this is going? Um, if you're a little confused on why Big B was kind of like wanting to go after her, you know, that option was at the end because he was going through the voices of what him and what him, oh fuck me, of what Marissa and Faith has said to him. I think. And this is just a theory. I think he, um, I don't think he ever met Faith. Like, the real Faith. I think, in a way, it was actually Nerissa who was glamoured as Faith in the beginning when, um, he went to the woodman's, woodsman's apartment because, you know, the whole ruckus and everything. Of course, you know, Bigby would have been called for that to see what was going on and she had that talk with him and everything and pretty much like it showed they're saying the same thing to each other so I think she was dead like Faith was dead before that and after they parted ways instead of um, going back as Faith she you know she went and got Faith's head and everything put it there because, you know, obviously she went back to the Pooh and Mike because, you know, we saw her there. And the money that we had given said fate was in the, um, the floor safe. So, I think she might have been dead to begin with before this game even started. And, you know, we never... Huh, and you. <laughs> I just looked up and saw that, sorry. So, I don't think he ever actually met him. Met him? Oh, fuck my life met her now it's just a theory N nothing's actually true because I mean we really won't know anything until next time so is that it yep up oh, there's the there's the stuff for it right there that's nice sorry <laughs> I was admiring the pictures is it going back to the thing um, let's see. So, when I go back, obviously, and I do the evil, I'll get all this extra stuff that I miss because you have to make certain choices. 
Oh, fair justice. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. She's in charge now. Okay, but, um, here, let me actually show you. Is it in this? Yeah, here you go. Yeah, see, that's her mother and him. Yeah, her mother, his, her mother, oh my god. His mother is Winter and his dad is the North Wind. Um, what are my achievements? Did I get them all? Nope. <laughs> right down there. And then that last one. Yep. And that's I gotta get everything. Okay, so I'll get that whenever I play the game over again. But yeah, that's that's it, guys. And um, I went ahead and figured, you know, because it was getting towards the end, I'll go ahead and this is a longer episode, as you can see. But I mean, for now, this is it until anything else about The Wolf Among Us comes out. And when it does, I will most likely be playing it because I really enjoyed this one. So until next time, whenever that is. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.